Let's learn how to identify invasive buckthorn species. We will learn to identify buckthorn even when it has no leaves. I'm Jeff with the Backyard Birds Channel. I've been removing invasive European buckthorn from my property for years. If you like videos like this, consider subscribing to my channel. Furthermore, you can support my channel by joining me on Patreon. As always, thanks for watching. Ramnus is the genus of buckthorns discussed in this video. There are seven native species and six introduced species in the United States, but this video only covers the two most widespread invasive species. It would be wise to learn which species are found in your area. You can consult the range map for Ramnus in the video description. There are two widespread species of introduced buckthorn found in much of North America. The most common is European buckthorn. Its native range is Europe, Western Asia, and Northern Africa, but was introduced to North America. You can also find its cousin, Dehernian buckthorn. It is native to Eastern Asia, but was introduced to North America. Both are extremely invasive and displace native vegetation, eliminating habitat. They can range in size from small shrubs to large tree-like shrubs. By removing them, native species can regenerate, improving habitat. To learn how to use herbicide to kill invasive shrubs, follow the link at the top of the video. Members of the closely related Frangula genus are also known as buckthorns. Some sources may use the Ramnus genus instead of the Frangula genus. They are not the focus of this video, but you may want to research them. There are seven native species and one introduced species in the United States. Find a link to a Frangula range map in the video description. There are numerous characteristics that can be used to identify introduced buckthorns. A combination of the leaves, bark, bud arrangement, inner bark, and roots can all be used to identify them. The leaves are the easiest, but aren't on the shrubs when I'm usually removing them. Common buckthorn has elliptical leaves with generally two or three pairs of veins on each side of the midvein. Dehurian buckthorn has longer lance-shaped leaves with generally four to five pairs of veins on each side of the midvein. The bark of twigs is purplish, but so is the bark of some natives like chokecherry. The bud arrangement is my favorite method to distinguish invasive buckthorns from other purple stemmed plants. The bud arrangement is often sub-opposite. Most plants have alternately arranged buds, but some have oppositely arranged buds. Chokecherry has alternate bud arrangements making it easy to distinguish from the invasive buckthorn. Both invasive buckthorns have buds that are nearly opposite of one another, but not exactly opposite. You can also look for the black fruit, which are still on the plants in fall and sometimes into winter. But fruit is only found on female plants as Ramnus is a dioecious genus. Dioecious plants have male and female flowers on separate plants compared to monoecious plants that have male and female flowers on the same plant. The stalks of the fruit are longer on Dehurian buckthorn than on European buckthorn. The inner bark is bright orange and is useful to identify the invasive buckthorns. The roots are black and seeing them is a great way to verify the identity of the plant. Remember to use multiple traits when identifying invasive buckthorns. I hope this video has taught you to identify these two invasive buckthorn species. Look in the video description for books on tree and shrub identification. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Do you have a question? Leave a comment and I will respond. If you know someone who could learn from this video, share it with them. Hi, it's Jeff. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell to be the first to know about my new videos. Go a step further and join me on Patreon to support my effort to bring you the content that you desire. 
You can watch more of my videos to learn about nature.